Hey, my name is Alex and I wanted to introduce you to Tactical Arbitrage. Uh, this is the first in a series of uh, instructional and informative videos to help you um, not only learn about the tool, but to demystify anywhere that you may find the tool confusing um, and uh, polish up your skill set so you can get to those profitable items quicker. So when you first log into Tactical Arbitrage, you're greeted with this lovely little dashboard here. This dashboard is new to, to Tactical Arbitrage version 2.0 and uh, the old design did not have this but the new design does and I wanted to explain what the dashboard is and uh, exactly what it can mean for you. So over on the left hand side here we've got in the very top left corner we've got a little button here which allows you to shrink or expand this side menu here. This menu will give you access to our variety of searches that you can do within Tactical Arbitrage, such as product searching, Amazon flips, reverse searching, library searching, and wholesale searches. And you can actually access all of these menu items here from below these circles here. Product, search, view, look at your saved data. Flips, search, view, save, reverse, library, and wholesale, they all have the same. And down the list here, we've also got the analysis tools, product variations and tactical edge. They'll be discussed in a future video. You can also access product variation search and a tactical edge search directly from the dashboard too. Settings are accessible too from the side menu. And again, accessible from uh, the bottom of the page here. It'll also tell you when you last updated what, uh, the settings as well and what date that was. Up in the top left corner of the page here, you have the option to personalize the dashboard a little and not only the dashboard, but in the top right corner, you'll notice it says welcome and my name and a little avatar. So I can go in here and say, for example, change my name from Alex to Alexander, hit save, and I'll notice that it's changed here and also in the top right corner. Now in the top right corner, I also have the option to log out of this page as well, log out of the uh, software in total. Now in the My Profile section where I'll change my name back to Alex, uh, I also have the option to upload a different avatar. And if, you're, if you so desire, you can even upload your own company logo to the page, which is useful, for example, if you're sitting alongside potential clients and operating the software and you just wanted to have your logo on the page as an option. So I'll hit save there and my name is now changed back to Alex. It's, it also tells me uh, when I joined and when this particular account was um, set into operation was in October 2016. We've had a few accounts over the years, uh, over the couple of years and it'll also tell me and allow me to download my latest invoice from here as well. Which leaves us with these funky little rings in the center of the screen. And why is one pulsing in green and why are the other ones these sort of light pink and uh, inactive? Okay, so the green pulsing dot indicates that a search is currently in progress. Now this is a live panel here. So you'll also notice that this number is climbing. So where it's saying there's 140 items in the view data page ready for me to look at, 143 now. And also what's climbing is this little ring around the side. It is slowly growing. So over the course of um, enough additions to the view data page, this ring will grow. We have limits set within tactical arbitrage. So I believe at the moment it's 25,000, that's soon to increase and this ring will indicate a percentage of that uh, that limit being met. So for example, if I had 12 and a half thousand view data items there, this ring would be approximately half full. And there's rings uh, and information available for each of the searches. Now, uh, obviously you want as many green dots flashing as possible because while this search is being done, there's, uh, there's treasure hunting being done and that's exactly what we want to do. And exactly what we want to get to next in our next video, which is about product searching. So um, the, that's what we'll be doing is we'll be getting into product search. And I should also mention that on this left-hand menu, uh, we have a videos and frequently asked questions link. 
Now, at the moment, at the time of the, the recording of this video, there's some um, reasonably outdated videos, still with very usable content, but they revolve around the, uh, the older design. So if you log in there at the moment and you're seeing those videos, I'd still recommend you watch them. However, you may find that by the time you watch this, uh, that the newer design videos, such as this one, are occupying the space on this page. There's also a support button on here. So if you have any queries that you want to shoot through to our email, whether it's a bug report, a general query, a website suggestion, or so on, this is the place to send it. And again, this menu will be appearing on every single page within Tactical Arbitrage, so it's easy to access. All right. So let's move on from here. The next video is going to be about, be about product searching. Thank you for watching. Um, I intend to make a lot of these and I hope you enjoy them. Thanks.